What's going on guys? In this video, we're gonna talk about Mullen Automotive. Once again, that's Mullen Automotive with the ticker symbol M-U-L-N. Guys, if you like the information and analysis that I'm providing in this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Let's get going. So guys, Molin Automotive closed at a price of $1.48 last Friday trading session. It is up 5.71% during the trading hours and it is still up 0.68% in the after hours with a price of $1.49. If you guys are watching Risk On, uh, Todd is actually uh, making a joke that Molin is the only blue chip stock that is up last Friday. Now guys, if we go to market beat, we can actually see here that Mullen is red across the board. 5-day performance of negative 12.43%, 1-month performance of negative 50.67%, and a year-to-date performance of negative 71.70%. Like I said, even before guys, in my past video, I'm a huge supporter of Mullen and the price action doesn't bother me, okay? So I'm here to support you guys. And uh, we will actually uh, try to uh, check if there's any current press release in the Mullen website as far as, um, you know, news is concerned. Now, if we go to newsroom in the Mullen website, uh, we can actually see here, guys, that Mullen to conduct solid-state polymer battery self-testing with leading independent facility battery innovation center, BIC, in Indiana. And this was released on April 21st of 2022. If we go in that article, it says here, testing to support a solid-state polymer battery cell, which, when scaled to the vehicle, vehicle pack level and at 150 kilowatt hour equivalent, can deliver over 600 miles of range on a full charge for the Molin 5 EV crossover, Molin to announce test results in early May of 2022. So that will be pretty close, ladies and gentlemen. Also says here that Molin Automotive, an emerging electric vehicle manufacturer, announced solid-state polymer battery testing with the Battery Innovation Center BIC in Indiana is focused on rapid development testing and commercialization of safe, reliable, and lightweight energy storage systems for defense and commercial customers. So the Battery Innovation Center will perform the following tests on Molin solid-state polymer battery, constant current discharge test, peak power power test, constant power discharge test. So guys, this in response to uh, Hindenburg res uh, Research in their short selling report that we have previously been trying to uh, uh, discuss in our, my previous videos. So once again, guys, uh, shout out to Matt Baker, who is constantly supporting the group, uh, Mullen Group, Mullen Stock Group. Okay, So he's been constantly posting related articles for each and everyone to read. And of course, one of those articles that I like is why Mullen Stock was a roller coaster ride yesterday. So this uh, this is, was posted on April 22, and that should be a Friday. Okay, So let's read on to that article. During the April 21st trading session, an almost 50% drop after an almost 50% drop, Mullen traded higher again. It reaches as high as $1.63 in the morning for a quick 15% spike. That is true, guys. Everyone was pretty excited during that day. A few hours later, however, Mullen had lost all its gains for the day and then some, which is uh, pretty devastating. So everybody is cheering Mullen, go Mullen, but later on, it started trading sideways. So here are some of the possible reasons why the intense volatility in Mullen stock on Thursday. Okay, so it says here the Tesla effect. The world's largest electric vehicle company, Tesla, easily beat market expectations. So guys, this was the day that actually Tesla released their earnings report and when it reported its first quarter results on April 20, the company reported a record of 3.3 billion in profits for the quarter and an increase of more than 8 billion in revenue year over year. This excellent result surprised the Wall Street experts, so they're not experts after all, who had predicted further difficulties for the company due to production disruptions caused by caused by supply chain headwinds. Okay, so because Tesla is a benchmark for the industry, investor enthusiasm spilled over into the EV markets, um, EV makers such as Molin, Lucid, and Rivian. So I also performed. So all of these stocks also performed positively at first of the day after Tesla's earnings announcement. Moreover, in the article, it says here, in the late February, Mullen was featured in a Car Buzz article. The, the magazine called Mullen the real deal and predicted that it would have the ability to stand up to major EV players in the future. Car Buzz recently posted another piece about Mullen. This article brought up some specifics regarding Mullen 5 model, its differentiators, its future perspectives. The piece quoted CEO David Mishery who compared the Mullen 5 to Tesla Model S. I believe that Mullen 5 
to me and to this company is what Model S was to Tesla, the key factor and people don't focus on this key factor. It's not about the car being electric. It's about the car being sexy, having amazing performance, and then it's electric. So guys, as you can see, if you access fintel.io, you can actually see here that they are, there are institutions that just loaded up on Molin. If the, the one highlighted in green are the new positions and the one that's not highlighted are the position they just added to their positions. So we want to know, we want to know what people are thinking over the weekends. Okay, so this is a post from six hours ago from Brian AMC Mullen Holder, Mullen CEO and Mullen Company just adds Jeff Bezos on Twitter. Okay, so if you go back to Twitter, I had got this post from Excited can confirm they both follow Mr. Bezos. I hope this means something. So guys, people are still speculating that could it be that Amazon is the major Fortune 500 that placed an order for those EV vans? Let me know in the your thoughts in the comment section below. So guys, uh, we also have this tweet from uh, Theresa Perrine and Johnny Love. It says here, Molin triple bottom at 1.33. This is huge. The MACD has curled up on the 4-hour chart and is starting on the daily, okay? So we'll try to decipher that, guys, in the chart if we do have a triple bottom. So it says here, what is a triple bottom? A triple bottom is a bullish chart pattern used in technical analysis that's characterized by three equal lows followed by a breakout above the resistance level. A triple bottom is usually... A visual pattern that shows the buyers taking control of the price action from the sellers, which are the bears. A triple bottom is generally seen as three roughly equal lows bouncing off support followed by the price action breaching resistance. The formation of triple bottom is seen as an opportunity to enter a bullish posi position. So, uh, this is what's important. What does a triple bottom tell you? Uh, the triple bottom chart pattern typically follows a prolonged downtrend where bears are in control of the market. While the first bottom could simply be a normal price movement, the second bottom is indicative of the bulls gaining momentum and preparing for a possible reversal. The third bottom indicates that there's a strong support in place and bears may capitulate when the price breaks through resistance levels. There are a few rules that are commonly used to qualify triple bottoms. There should be an existing downtrend in place before the pattern occurs. There the three lows should be roughly equal in price and spaced out from each other. While the price doesn't have to be exactly equal, it should be reasonably close to the same price such as that a trend line is horizontal. The volume should drop throughout the pattern in a sign that bears are losing strength while bullish volume should increase as the price breaks through the final resistance. Okay, so guys, we'll double check if uh, it actually qualifies for a triple bottom as stated in Investopedia. And here is our chart, guys. So this is the four-hour time frame that people are talking about. Guys, correct me if I'm wrong, okay? So now uh, the first, so it says here, a triple bottom is a visual pattern that shows uh, the buyers taking control of the price action from the sellers. A triple bottom is generally seen as three roughly equal lows bouncing off support followed by the price action breaching resistance. So, so this is one, this two, this is three, so it's bouncing off the support. So your, your support is around this area, guys. Okay, so like uh, as they always say, there's no uh, perfect, uh, you know, charting. Okay, so whatever you're comfortable with. Okay, so what does a triple bottom tell you? The triple bottom chart pattern typically follows a prolonged downtrend where bears are in control of the market. So um, if you uh, zoom out here, this is a prolonged downtrend where bears are in control of the market. Well, the first, bo first bottom could simply be a normal price movement. So we could see that right here. The second bottom is indicative of the bulls gaining momentum and preparing for a possible reversal. So we can see that here in the second bottom. And the third bottom is the... In the third bottom indicates that there's a strong support in place and bears may capitulate when the price breaks through resistance levels. Okay, so we can also see that here. Now, just uh, so just to make sure, guys, we'll try to break this... Uh, uh, you know uh, the last green candle in the four hour time frame so we'll go in a one hour time frame just to double check on that so here you go guys there could be a possible reversal as you can see the bears are losing out control and we have we are gaining momentum on the upside so things to consider there should be an existing downtrend before the pat uh, the pattern occurs so that's uh, what it says there and also the volume should drop 
throughout the pattern in a sign that bears are losing strength. So, so if you go to our volume, guys, our volume is currently 64.63 million with an so our average volume for the past three months is 131.49 million. So, guys, uh, it's a uh, for you to decide whether that's a triple bottom but for me that's a triple bottom once again okay like i said i am very very bullish with mullen there's no question about it i always make videos for mullen okay now um so uh we on my technical analysis side i've already given that to you okay so we'll, we just deciphered what a triple bottom is we all learned something into that as you can see guys we have a solid support at around this area one dollar and 33 cents we are in the process of uh, bouncing back we have a good rsi 36.42 we have a solid uh, upside push including your stochastics we are pretty pretty low so we, as you can see guys we are not oversold uh, we are just in the neutral area so we have a lot of momentum to the upside okay if we go to your four hour time frame we can clearly see guys that your vwap has already crossed over your um, 9 EMA oh sorry about that we can also see that your VWAP is about to cross your 9 EMA so hopefully guys we can regain the momentum again and we can also cross your 50 EMA this coming Monday so our first resistance here is around $1.66 and our second resistance that I'd like to talk about is around here okay around one dollar and eight three cents that will be our now second resistance hopefully we have already found the bottom and we are now in the demand zone once again guys if you like the information and analysis that i provided to you in this video please hit the like and subscribe button once again this is your boy don't leave your trades i love you all peace out